setting everything up, people. Just give me a moment. Saved. Already got comments. That was fast. Give me a second, guys. I'll be able to check it out very soon. As soon as I'm done with this. Just checking if the stream is going all right. Safe than sorry, right? <laughs> All right. Everything's working. Is my voice coming out alright? Because the last time I was. My voice didn't come out really. Uh, properly because the. Vo Basically, my voice was kinda too low because the sound of the game was a little too high. Alright. Sounds better now. Alright. Now we can start this properly. What's up guys, the Keyblade Solar here, and welcome back to Danganronpa! Trigger, trigger Happy Havoc. Last time, we were having a nice time with all the new students we har hardly met. Well, then we got to know some of the characters like Celeste, Sayaka, and Kyoko. But then unfortunately, Manakuma, well, as you can see, he let us a motive and what happened to each of our well-known ones, and apparently Sayaka is the one that got affected the most. So we're up to see what Sayaka, how Sayaka is doing, so let's continue this, shall we? Yes, that is okay. Alright, so we're back here. Let's get back to it. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaky. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Makes sense. She was the m most affected there. Now I'm on my own, headed up to tell everyone that Sayaka's okay. Is okay. So after that, he went back to our room. Well, I I would have to I would have to think about what what we just saw. Basically, we saw the the family just saying hi, and then all of a sudden, the, the place got trashed. Tell me about it, Makoto. So many problems happening. Either that we're trapped, or that we saw... So... So many problems. We all do. Ah, uh, if only that was true, Makoto. I bet something bad is gonna happen. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem. Oh, someone rang the bell. And it's night time. Almost 10 o'clock, okay. I guess we're about to find out who's at the door. Let's take a look. Sorry. Oh, she still looks pale. Look at her. I'm sorry I came so late. Are you okay, Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing so out so late? That's when I noticed, yep. Her body's totally trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange! Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Apparently someone is intending to kill her. I was yep. so scared. 
It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shackling the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? By the look on her face, of course. I mean, look at her. But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. But... But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the do dorm rooms, right? It didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... The two people sharing one room is... you know... Ah! Oh jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that! You really didn't think about the possibility of you sleeping with a girl! <laughs> Come on, Makoto! Honestly, that... Honestly, that it didn't even cross my mind. Um... No, I know me. I know. Me either. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... I mean, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms? Just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind it staying... I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Oh, nighttime just happened. Which means... <clears throat> yep. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let the, the bed box bite. bite. Yeah, that's how you always mm. say. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll get to your room right now. Oh, and if we're gonna turn rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. A again? Like I said, I'm psychic. No. <laughs> huh? Aren't you gonna say that you were just kidding? <laughs> What if I wasn't just kidding? <laughs> yeah, she. You, you better not let her fool you that time. Okay, we better trade keys okay. then. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Uh, she um... worried. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if it, even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn, you have to turn the knob, then lift up the door when, while you pull it out. Do, just do that, and the door should open no problem. Um. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> you. You feel like something's not adding up, Kilua? Well, just don't... D don't spoil me, okay? <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before? Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the mo See you in the morning. All right. I guess we'll be... Well, nobody's there. I guess we should go into Sayaka's room then. Well, yep. It doesn't look that much different. Well, except for the color of the sh bed sheets. It smells nice though. Hold on, let me confirm. Yeah, there it is, the so... Yeah, there it is, the sewing kit. A map to the body's vital organs, really? Yeesh. Let me see, the bathroom dome has a lock. Has a lock. Alright. 
And this is Sayaka's bed. Yep. <laughs> really, Makoto? Oh, I got a coin for that? <laughs> I wonder what's inside the trash bag. Oh, Sayaka's DVD. Exactly. Let, let's wait. Let's wait until she brings it up. Exactly. I probably should go to bed soon. All right. Oh, Makoto, come on. Yeah, maybe it'll bring you sweet dreams, but not wet dreams. <laughs> I expect another Monokuma theater coming up. Okay, what do you got to say, Monokuma? <clears throat> Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure! You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or the asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of duck poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! I hope my Monokuma voice is not too disturbing. Ding dong bing bong. It's morning. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. <laughs> yeah, I know, Monokuma. Ready to another beautiful day. Well, might as well. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Here we are at the dining hall. Only a few people are there. Hina, Sakura, Taka, and Chihiro. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it? It was the very first one... I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Chihiro, you're, you're hey, cute. Hey, Makoto! Morning! You're cute too, Hina. I suppose I'm early. Yeah, you, you look buff as ever. I don't know. What I call her cute, though? I don't know. <laughs> hmm, but... Oh, there's Mondo. Yo. Yo, Mondo. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Hi, Junko. Ah, well... My hello. apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning, uh, duty took a little longer than usual. I... I don't want to know about that, Hifumi. Okay. And... Of course... Indeed. I suppose I'm late. Hi, Kyoko. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Celeste. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. But what alarm? It was the morning announcement. Also, also morning, Leon. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to, to be late? Not really, Toko. Yo. I didn't oversleep, just you know. Nope, got lost. I blamed the Bermuda Triangle. What do you mean, Bermuda Triangle, hero? Don't care about time or other people in general. Yep. But wait, where's Byakuya? I don't see Byakuya or Sayaka. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing people? Oh. Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but... Huh. For her to be late is concerning. Oh, oh there's Byakuya. What's going on? Did something happen? No. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> what would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did she forget about her breakfast promise? However, I got that sense she's she always has her stuff together. Uh, I think something did happen. Uh, I need to go. I have to check on her. I have a bad feeling about this too. What the heck happened here? 
The moon, the moon is a complete mess! What the hell? I mean, there's the, the replica sword. But it's only the sheath. What happened to the sword? Oh, there's a sword. Was it used? There's a room key. But where's Saika? The bathroom door is open. I have a bad feeling about this. What the hell? Sayaka got murdered! And was that Makoto screaming? A murder just happened, everybody! A murder just happened! And it was Sayaka! Oh my god. Ah, you're awake, finally. Are you okay? Now's not the time for sleeping. Get your ass off. I would. Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Sayaka got murdered. She had a knife in her... S Gah! Um... Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. Yeah. I never thought I'd have to say that those words myself. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself! I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevoc irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself! Why? Listen to us, man! What? what do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it if... What good is it just... Is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are y'all... Why are we all here hanging up in a gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's... She's dead! Yeah, finally hit us. Sayaka was right there... On a pool of blood... With a knife st sticking out of her stomach. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Manakuma, he told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But so I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Kyoko is the voice of reason. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey! Um... Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. Bear Times One rule? What the hell does that mean, Cunt Monokuma? But, but... Then, who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you! Yeah, no one replied to, to that. It had to be one of them. Wah -wah? Huh? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to get a dove get, get see a dove get shut up with a gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yahoo! One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you. It, one of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? 
But yeah, no one. Of course, no one would just go around there and say it. Uh, um. Are you serious? What? What is someone, this? Someone killed someone. <laughs> it. It is amazing what some people will, people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on! Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> Monokuma, what is what? it? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz... Naive! You're just so naive! Okay, what do you mean, Knight? You really think it's that easy? You can't just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey! You're super naive! Now. Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! No, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The real thing? What real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation! Like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave, however... Even if you do that, there's still one more part of to the agreement that you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. All right, unless they are discovered. If, if you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? That's probably In what you words. meant. Bingo! It's not enough just to kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to, to assess whether or not it's gone away with. So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. A class trial? Mm. Yep, it'll begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the Blacken who committed the murder. And, and they and the spotless students will all engage in a one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. So that's what the class trial is if about. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, uh -oh. then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Wait, what? Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. So wait a minute, if we... If we don't find the murder, everyone gets punished except the murder. What the hell? So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply... What? It's execution! Yeah, yeah Hifumi said it. I don't need to say it. What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! That's not good. That kind of execution? So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well. What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it! So it's basically what the outside world calls a lead judge system or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rules that I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. Oh. Hey! Wait, hold on a second! What the hell are they talking You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? Calm down, Junko. Hmm? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? 
I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. The hell are you talking what? about? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish! Stop it! You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. I've got... It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. <laughs> but I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first! Whoa, 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 what the hell? G uh, Junko, don't do this. Are you enjoying yourself now? Also, blackening the, the upskirts scene. Smart. Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! Junko, if I were you, I'd step away from him. I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Hey, Junko, get out of there! Oh my god! She got skewered! <laughs> Huh? This wasn't supposed to... Why me? You just had to go after Monokuma. Oh my god. Jesus no Christ. Way. What the... I don't... This can't be real. Yeah. No way. Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a course from popping up for no good reason, you know. Yeah. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson after all. <sighs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. Jesus so, Christ, Monokuma. If you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Oh my god, we're trapped in a life or death situation. There it is. Juko impaled with spears. I can't believe this. Jesus Christ. Everyone experiencing um, someone getting executed just like that. It's not, it's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. She just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just natural as the eventual end of the world itself. Monokuma, I freaking hate you right now. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like even when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would pro put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. Of I course you did. It. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? This whole time? Yeah, Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help in your search for the Black End. Ta -da! This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... It's the Monokuma file! The Monokuma file? Mm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing. So you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Mm. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see how it all go down. So then... Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. 
If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make a proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. Well, I guess we have to investigate. Everyone is stunned and confused and at a total loss. And all we could see is just Junko's dead body lying there. But now... But, I mean, we all know that Monokuma... Hey, hey Chris, welcome back. It was the very idea of one of us had to murder someone. Tell me about it. So this is a life or death situation. If we fail, if we fail to find out the killer, well, it'll it'll just get, things will go dire for everyone. Hey, now is not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do that we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having a total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Say stuff like that, it's just... <gasps> How many times have I told you, anyone who can adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to or, who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's what an awful thing to say, especially after what happened! Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> yeah, Kyoko's right. We have to find the killer. Hey, Christopher! What's up? <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me! Alright, damn it, let's do this! Yep, time to find out who the killer is. Though I just realized something. This is this all happened in Makoto's room. Which could mean Yeah. I think everyone would suspect Makoto right away, now that I think about it. If the I mean, Sayaka was in the bathroom, in Makoto's room. So... Yeah. I have a feeling everyone's gonna suspect us. Yeah, I remember. Alright. Let's talk to everyone, hold on. If we found out who did it, then only that person... Yeah. What the heck? It is a ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Yakia? Yeah, hmm. Okay, Leon. Are, are you serious? Oh, you you were so convinced right before that. Oh my god, just this is just horrible. Yep, she's totally dead. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shut. I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, just wait a second! She's dead? Th that means... What? That means that everything that happened so far... It's not a joke or whatever, it's really real? You only realize that now, hero? Let me out of here! Yeah, she said it. Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? Oh! Hmm? <laughs> what? Notice what? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead and take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! What? She's right! <laughs> that could it be? Uh-oh. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong! F for one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> You don't expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth! Oh boy. Yeah, everyone think it, he did it. What the heck? 
I hate this. We all hate this, Mahina. Kyoko? Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so that nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What what the hell? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Ugh. Fuck you! Calm down, Mondo. So then. Fine then. I stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two player co-op based defense with two of them. With the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Wow, you're speaking in <laughs> RPG lingo now? <laughs> I, I know, I, I really like Hina. She's one of my favorites so far. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, freaked out but I'll try. So Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to go to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We have to collect clues or to form a foundation, and then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Well, nope. Should we... I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. Well... Goodbye. I'll be going too. Well, it's time to investigate. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better get to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Just let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, You're fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave up their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Yeesh. So um. But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know. And we're going to investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is... It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me next? Calm down, Toko! So, Yeesh! Um... She was going Jojo for a bit. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um, That's true, we may as well at least check out just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help it best to uh, Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm no good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever, I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet, We ha you have to hear me out! But yeah, everyone's suspecting Makoto now. Oh boy. Well, the the murder was in your room, Makoto. What do you ex what do you expect? Exactly. It's time we do something about this. Execution is execution. Electric chair. I totally need to remind her what he just said. Oh boy. Exactly. Let's not let that happen. We have to find out who really killed Sayaka. Investigate. Alright. Let's look at the Monokuma file. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. So in the morning. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound in th to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. Well, exactly. Somehow I have to find out the truth, so we, be, can, we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Well, we have the Monokuma file in our... Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, truth bullets. There we go. So far, we only have the, mono, the Monokuma fi file. Alright then. Okay. Hero, do you know something? Yeah, he's panicking. 
God, B Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune? What? <laughs> I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Yeah. Chihiro. Oh my God, seeing her sad like that is just heartbreaking. Aren't you going to help investigate um... Chihiro? But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Well, if that's how you feel. But yeah, there's no point in looking at Junko's body. She just... wow. She's totally dead. Alright then. I think we should start by investigating the room. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's the map? Yeah, leave the area. Alright. Set it to the scene of the crime. My room. Alright. Time to head to, to the room. Alright. Let's take a look at every evidence. There's a there's a golden katana. The replica sword. Was it used in the attack? And it's been taken out of the sheath as well. On top of that, yes, some of the gold coating came off. It's hard to see, but it's right there. The handle especially. But yeah, just by touch, according to Makoto, just by touching it, it just sticks right to you. Okay, so adding the replica sword. Isn't that the room key? It is. But yeah. Both Makoto and Sayaka switched keys back, back, back then. Alright then. But yeah, if that's true then... Yeah, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? No, I don't think Sayaka would want to unlock the door just like that. According to her, she just... She said not to open the door to anyone else. Hmm. Exactly. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed her or something? No, that can't be possible. We all switched rooms, exactly. Yeah, how did the killer get switched rooms? We have to find out what's going on. If only they couldn't wash their hands in the trial for this one. <laughs> yeah, it would, it, it would totally tell. There's a sheath. Yeah, there's a sheath. But how? What do you mean, huh? There are scratches on the sheath, huh? Something sharp. How did the sheath get scratched? Could it be the... Could it be the knife? Well, better... Exactly. Maybe it could have been the knife. I'm not sure. But oh my god, look at the bed. A lot, a lot of gouges and slashes. There's a limp roller. What? Way less than before? That is that is weird. There's a notepad. It's not relevant, okay. Oh, the toolkit! Was it used? There is no evidence of being used, okay? It is. There is no reason to open it, that's true. Yo! Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mom! We ain't exactly in the what? mood to be building f freaking furniture. So you haven't used the artist either then? What? Not just me, nobody's what? busted theirs out yet, as far as I as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened up their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would why the hell would we? Well, lo looks like the toolkit was never used. Okay. Kyoko, I found anything? Hey Kyoko. Huh? What are you doing? Well, yeah, what is she doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? For what? Did you lose a contact or something? Uh, I don't think that's the kind of thing you should ask. Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. What's unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. 
Really? Indeed. Not, not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone ha have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room then had a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller with that your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saika or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? So, the lint roller was used, and there's no- and there's not a single hair on the floor. Weird. Why would the killer do that? Well, to remove evidence that they were there, that's obvious. Let's- I guess we should investigate the bathroom. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there are slashes everywhere, look at that. Scratches and gouges on the walls and bed. Looks like there was evidence of a struggle here. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Uh, Makoto, you couldn't. The walls are soundproof. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. A cultist? Okay. What do you mean, a cultist? Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle. Say Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you will come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Mondo? By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room in here, here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! Dirty bastard! Dude, Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is a scum that deserves death! That's why my brother taught me. You're fucking dead! So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound, pound his goddamn face in! But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That... Uh, that all gets sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> so he never lays a hand on a girl. Okay. Can, I, can we now investigate the bathroom? Come on, Makoto. Be brave. Don't let it get to you. <sighs> Alright. It's still hard to see her body like that. Yeesh. What markings? I don't see any markings on Asa Osayaka. <laughs> okay. Not sure if you would be given for a hand or not the bathroom mess. Please do not please do not say anything like that. Sayaka. Easy, easy, Makoto. Don't hesitate. Exactly. Tana uncovered the truth. Alright. Let's find out what happened to her body. But yeah, there it is. But now's not the time to think like that. Yeah, that some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? It's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma five file, Seika's right wrist is broken. Her wrist just looks swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns you? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands are completely spotless. So why only her left finger? Okay, so we have Sayaka's wrist. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. That's so when she broke her wrist. That must have happened early on. I mean... How could her wrist get broken after she had been killed? That is true. This, yeah, the killer attack in the main room, and that's, yeah, that's probably where her wrist got broken. She, then she was quartered down in the bathroom, and that's when she stabbed. She was stabbed. 
Wait, what's this? Three thirty-seven. One one zero three seven. It's did Sayaka did this? Look at her wrist again. I mean, we already have the wrist and the evidence. Why, why, why do I have to look at a wrist again? Can you see those numbers again? 11037. What about. Let's not, let's not get to the. Let's not jump to conclusions just now. But yeah, the, the water from the showers will turn off. We've pretty much seen everything. It, would seem... it looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers, and that's most likely Sayaka's dying message. What do you mean by dying so... message? It's something a victim writes before they die, usually a way to spell to tell who people who kill them. But generally, whoever writes it don't, doesn't make it totally obvious. Then they write in, in somewhere the killer wouldn't notice, or write it on a code or something. That's, that is pretty incredible. Hey. Have you ever heard of Ellery Queen? Who? Ooh. Never mind. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let's see what... There's something else we... About the dying message? It would seem... About the bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she read it with her life right. itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. Please, please do not spoil it, Killua. I'll find out myself. I have no idea what they could possibly so... mean. The, the way she wrote the numbers made me think she wanted to use her body to, to block them. If she wrote them in, an, in that location, while she was sitting in the way she, we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning on, only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, Think about it. You're not going to tell me? Photo. You need to uncover this mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end with, and you'll remain unconvinced. Okay. Yeah, we have the dying message. 11037. Alright. Who you should talk to? Oh, the Dakota. ultimate programmer. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Wait, it was broken? How it, Oh, you mean how it what? gets stuck? Get stuck? Oh, that's a different expression on her face. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame, frame quite, quite right. When I tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. Did a bike have to interrupt me? But I, I missed what, what she just said. Hold on. I know there's a way to look at the lock. Oh, wrong button. Correct. So the door doesn't fit in the quay frame, right? Huh? Yep. But actually, I'm referring to, to the broken doorknob. The broken doorknob. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom do door. I'm sure you'll see it right away what I'm talking about. Okay. Huh? The doorknob got broke. Is is loose? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would what could seem... this... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something si similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom door doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? Hmm. That is... Just a second. I have just one more question for you. That is weird. What? The, I mean, the door frame... F the killer would think that the door is locked because of door frame, but okay. But yes, 
But yeah, someone... Someone used their toolkit, but it wasn't ours. You mentioned earlier that their bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is... Only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. I think I she's see. getting into this. And that clears that up. Well, clears what up? Goodbye. Well, see you later. She does not want to talk very, uh, very social at the moment. The bathroom doorknob. Just, wow. Alright. Oh, right, the DVD. We should look into the DVD that Sayaka left. But that Sayaka left. Wait a minute. What's... Why is this... Hang on. What... Why is the name played on... On Makoto's room, Sayaka's? This is weird. Did someone change... Switch the nameplates? Why were they switched? This is weird. This is getting very, very mysterious at the moment. But anyway... If I recall, the DVD, the DVD was in the trash can. Yeah, there it is. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. What did she see? I might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking it out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka, I need to borrow this DVD. Do we have it? Well, I guess we have to go to the AV room and find out. Alright. You okay, Leon? Like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file says Sayaka was killed in your room. Just kids can't sit thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Right? Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naimi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose any evidence in a trash room. Yeah, he thinks out he thinks we're guilty too. Anyway. Let's see. I think the map oh there it is. Wait, blood on Leon's shirt? What are you talking about? That's not... That's not Seems blood. That's the, that's actually the pattern of his shirt. That's actually uh, the pattern of his shirt. That's not blood. <laughs> you you got me... You, you got me scared, dude. Uh, let's see. I don't know map. Uh, let's see. The AV room. Wait. Why is there an exclamation mark? Hang on. Maybe we should invest... Go to the dining hall. Apparently, Hina was there. Alright. Hey, Hina. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all first, a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue of what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but it's just been... I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Wait, what were you doing last night? Okay, I guess you won't tell me. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, I don't see anything. Wait a minute. One of the knives is missing. Could it be that... Could it be that the knife that the knife that was sticking out of her body was th a kitchen knife? Hmm... Hina was in the dining hall. I have to find out. Hey, uh, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally! Yeah, weird, right? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. 
Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a, in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice that one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. Hmm... So she was in the dining hall the whole time, but the knives disappeared right then and there. But yeah, apparently, it could be a- it could- Exactly, it, it could prove that Makoto didn't take the knife. Well, that's a good um... thing, at least we have her as a witness. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not, I would never! Hina, did you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Mm -hmm. I honestly have no idea. She doesn't really trust me either, but... I guess it's understandable. But... I, I, I know, I, that, that's what makes me like Hina even more. She's becoming one of my favorites, even though she's not trusting me at the moment. Anyway, we should head to the AV room. There we go. Maybe with this we can find out why, why was Sayaka terrified. Alright. There's a DVD player over there. Alright. Let's see what Sayaka w saw. Oh. It's... a concert. It's basically her on stage with her friends. Sayaka. Yep. So what happened? Sayaka uh -oh. Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. Uh-oh. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Uh-oh. What happened? What the hell? What the... Uh-oh. This is what Sayaka witnessed? All the girls are collapsed. This uh. ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever oh feel God. the warmth of the spotlight. This is what Sayaka was terrified. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Oh my god. This isn't good. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? Oh my god. What kind of person would take things this far? This is what Sayaka was witnessing the whole time. This is just awful. Itaka, what's up? What are you doing? Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on, on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything. I said forget it. Forget, forget, beam! <laughs> just, sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Forget Bean? Really? Okay, so... Let me check the map. There could be something else. I mean, I w already went to the AV room. Toko is in the classroom, but I don't think she has anything to do with the case. Let's see, let's head back into the dorms. There's something else in Sayaka's room? Wait. The trash room? Why the trash room? Oh, oh, oh right, the culprit could, could remove some evidence. Okay. 
Monokuma! Oh, jeez, Monokuma! Come on, really? Oh, boy. What is it? It's the end of the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! How'd you get this gate open? No, no! You can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Uh, you don't have to say it again. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Did you stop repeating the same thing? No, no! You can't go any further! Does he have to say- Does he have to say every- That again? What is he, a, a, a broken record? But who's the person on cleaning duty? I, I guess I should ask around. Let's start with Hifumi. I'm I'm looking for whoever was on whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Wow, on, right on my first try. <laughs> hey, hey, don't call Sa um, don't call Sayak as a rat. What the hell's wrong with you? Why do you ask? It, ju it just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. <sighs> I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate from the in front of the trash room? Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather all the garbage and toss it into the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point in going off, of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient, for once Biak I agree with Biak So, in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills tell us say the scum. Oh, so that's it. That must be. Oh, I get it. Okay, when he said it like that, that actually makes sense. All right. If anyone could get in out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B wait, boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than hey, that. You bastard. Hey, fatty. Why do, you, why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, oh. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else w would want want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did it. Is it like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash. Looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about What are you talking about? about? All my love is for 2D. Kind of way. Really? You know what I mean. But there's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and turn to me. unforgivable! I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and infection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figure figures. Give me a break. How are you totally not embarrassed to, to say stuff like that? Hm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable mor morality, there, that's, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duties, Sakura can, Sakura can accompany them, from picking the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to... Okay, and another topic. Yeah, let's focus on the topic at hand. Uh, right... Why right where I live? It's the afternoon, Adam M. Okay. And the other hand, Fifumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask mm -hmm. you. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from past drama, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. That was easy. Okay, let's head to the trash room then. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita found themselves a way out. Uh, just hurry up, m uh, Hifumi. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Alright. 
And there we go. Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You feed! You planned this all along! N no, not nothing like that. I just wanted to see if the actual killer had to destroy any evidence or not. Mm. But the actual killer is you, isn't mm. it? You want to see if you left any behind. <gasps> Quick, maybe a parallel world? Uh, let's just look around. Ignore him. The incinerator looks open. A 30 feet of from here to the gate. It's on? Mm -hmm. Do you see... Do you see the green and yellow button next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press, the, you press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so what? Make sure you le learn this before you leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on? That's what we're about to say. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy? Hifumi, do you realize what, what you just said? <laughs> Huh? The fairy? No, you said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, ab about that there can be no mistake. If I got one thing going, it's me. For me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... Hmm... So, Hifumi wasn't... didn't turn on the incinerator, it was off when he left, and yet when when we checked it, it was on. How is that possible? Wait, what's that? Is that a... Is that a shirt sleeve? There's something going on in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. It looks like a shirt mm. piece. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Really? That song? But yeah, it does look like a piece of cloth. Maybe a shirt? A, yeah, see, a sleeve of a button-up shirt. And it has blo blood on the cuff. Yeah, the evidence... Th this must have been the evidence the, the killer tried to destroy. But yeah, that enough, that enough is not enough to pin him down. There's plenty of people with white button-ups. Kifumi, Leon, uh, who else? Byakuya? But that enough but that alone isn't enough. Wait, what's this? Broken broken glass? This looks like a glass ball ball. Okay. Is, this perhaps... is, is that? Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Really? You're making Dragon Ball references? What is this game doing? Hmm. Alright. Eh, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might want to see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. A crystal ball, maybe? Huh. Could it be he? Could it be? I mean... Hifumi? No, not Hifumi. Who was the guy? Um... Yasuhiro. Oh, H Hiro. He's the ultimate clairvoyant. Hmm. This whole thing is quite hmm. strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off. And those glass shards and burned clothes weren't. <laughs> what does this all mean, Mr. Nagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being shoved one by one. Solved. Not shoved. Sorry. <laughs> could you stop calling could you stop saying hobo ryan okay okay so let's see the area let's see if we can get to the gym because uh this this is hifumi's crystal ball all right we should also ask chihiro about those numbers Alright, let's start with Chihiro. Hey Chihiro, I was hoping if I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Saika left a message. She brought out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what those numbers might mean? Like, could it be a code or something? Mm. Sorry, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just don't know. It's okay, don't worry, Chihiro. 
Don't worry about it. Thanks for anyway for trying. No, no, come on, Makoto. I don't think Chihiro would be the culprit. The poor girl's already sensitive enough. All right, Hero. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. ah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um. Uh, huh, Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, this this look familiar? What? That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? It is his! I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. And he said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? Was it actually just made of glass? And not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Really? He said that whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, yeah, let's put that aside for now. But this belonged to you? Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in a laundry room? So anyone could have found it and taken it. Alright. Thanks, Hero. That's all I need wanted to know. Uh, um... Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. It came out like a million. Are you serious? A million dollars for a, for a glass ball. Um... It's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering if it gives you the power to control the world. <laughs> yeah, that's just too stupid. Oh, boy. Oh. I think we pretty much investigated everything. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? I hope we got all the evidence we needed. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Okay. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Oh, so that's what the red door is about. <laughs> See you soon! <sighs> You'll see him, Adam Am. You'll see him. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, that's where I have to go. Exactly. There it is. The red door. An yeah. elevator? You're late, Makoto. We'll all be waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. Really, they're really convinced that I did it. Yeah. Who is the killer? That is a very good question. Yeah, that's probably the, the situation right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? Okay then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. Oh boy. Where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> this is it. Life or death. I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. <sighs> okay. Life or death situation. Okay. Let's get started. Yep. Let's see what everyone's opinion about this. What? What? So whoever got stuck in here took took the time to set up the, the goddamn courtroom, huh? Hero. Impossible. Yeah, we really gotta go through this class trial nope. thing, huh? If you wanna confess, now is not the time to do it. Oh boy. Uh, Sakura. Hey. There's no point in standing around here. Set all your resolve and step into the future. Hero? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Saika would want us to find out who killed her? Hina? What the heck? Can't help but wonder who, what whoever, whoever killed Saika is feeling right now. Celeste? <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? Oh boy. Celeste is really going for it. <laughs> I don't... You really think Toko is the killer? Being so insistent even though you obviously killed her. Very impressive. Yeesh. Leon? You know what I mean. 
Well, I did my job. I'm cutting the rest of on you from here on out. Cute Fumi. Mm -hmm. So the school basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagy's final curtain call. Oh boy. And the Akia. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? Well, the now or never. Let's get well, into the elevator. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite Lakota. right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to, to the grips of the, with the truth. Yep, it's time to uncover the truth. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I found out who the real killer is. Well said. Okay. The elevator's moving now. Everyone's descending. Everyone's fates are on the line here. Oh. Rather than that, it is not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment. Oh boy. Here we are. <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like Holly a Hollywood movie set, right? Shit. Not even close, it's total shit. Well, now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yahoo! Hurry up now, hurry up! Oh boy. It's a giant circle. Everyone's getting ready for the trial. Oh boy. We have to do this. Time to find out who killed Sayaka. Yep, exactly. Deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Alright then. Saving the game just to be safe. Okay, let's see this. Let's take a look at our evidence. The Monokuma file, evidence of a struggle, the replica sword and sheath, switch in the rooms, the toolkit, Makoto's cle room's cleanness, Saika's wrist, the dying message, the bathroom door frame and the doorknob, the door's nameplates, the kitchen nice set, Hina's account, Trash duty, incinerator, a burnt shirt piece, and a shattered crystal ball. These are all the evidence we have. Set skills. I think I think we unlocked one of them. There we go. Melodious voice increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. Well, might as well activate this. All right. Whew. All right, let's do this. Let the class trial begin. Let's begin with a basic explanation well, of the class looks like trial. Well, I don't have to talk here. So your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one. We're all dead. And I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. Oh, and, and the that one too. that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay. And the killer really is one of us, right? That's what he said. Of course. Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Really, Taka? You really think anyone would fall for that? Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Exactly. Even Mondo even Mondo says it. Why would anyone raise their hand just like that? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What is it, Kyoko? What's going on with those pictures? Yeah, wh why the pictures of why the pictures of a dead Sayaka and a dead Junko? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. I guess it makes sense. Friendship. Any traits? Kifumi, what's going on in your perverted mind? Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 huh. of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? 
That is a good question. Oh no, Reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Well, okay, if that's what you think. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. Okay, here First we go. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. The case summary. It's about time to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be there ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Alright then. Okay, so what do we need to do? If you're doing the class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearthly to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is you have to use your truth bullet to refute what they say. Any relevant truth photos you find during your investigation will be loaded in, in the truth cylinder. Use the left skip take to aim and then fire with the triangle button. Okay, fire with the triangle button, got it. Present statements and use your truth points to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will be automatically failed. Okay. So I guess so you can review the controls. Got it. Alright, let's do this. Girl with the purple eyes. What girl with the purple eyes? Kyoko? Alright. Evidence in a struggle. That's the only thing. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Okay, yeah, nothing here. You know that part already. And the murder took that. place in Makoto's room. Yes. In the bathroom. That's true. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. Right. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Uh, wait, there... A actually, no, that, that... That is what... That actually, this happened. If you're another spider for the like I repeat. In a group of statements, some words would appear in a different color. Yep. Potential hold on for right, got it. It's really important. Though not always inaccurate in sections of a first statement. When true photos are affected against those weak spots. Got it. So when you see one come out, take aim and fire, but only if if you're sure it's actually wrong. I can also fast forward an argument by holding on the circle button. Got it. I assert that the one who was murdered killed him and the murder took him. In the bathroom, so it seems the killer must okay. have taken her by surprise while she was in the... She didn't even have a chance to receive. There we go. No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong. Okay, that's the objection, I guess. I don't Just know. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room went. Yeah, remember. I mean, look, look at, look over the there. The way things had been damaged. I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Totally. I mean, look at all the scratches and everything. A struggle? Between who and who? Sayaka and the killer, Chihiro. Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. Exactly. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? No, I wasn't. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Exactly. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That's pretty much what happened. It should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. It's alright, Chihiro. You okay, tried. Okay, so what's next? So there was a struggle between Sack and the killer. The murder weapon. Right, wow. the murder weapon. This is starting to sound like a real trial. That's because it is. All right, what was it used to kill Sayaka? Okay, we have to pay attention to what they have to say. Kitchen knife set. That's what you. That's what was used. We have to pay attention. So what was used to kill her? Right. There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Mm-hmm. That is true. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Yep. So the killer used some random knife they had on. Wait. Oh, well, what did you? What did you do? Do something like that. I, I pressed that the wrong son button. Son of a bitch. I, I like I pressed the L1 button and it did something. R1, sorry. So well, let me see what's this. Oh, so apparently I can slow down the the argument. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I can press the R1 button to slow down time. Got it. All right. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. It was. Huh? A kitchen knife? Yeah, that's what After it was. After the murder, 
we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Mm -hmm. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Yep. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Totally true. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Oh boy, Liana's going in the attack. That's right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm. Let's draw our conclusions it's... after yeah. we presented our arguments. Thank you, Kyoko. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Thank you, Kyoko. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I disagree, Leon. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. Exactly. You really believe that? Yeah, we believe that. Yep, she's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere. We're damn sure we're not the killer. Okay, there's a bit more to, to learn. Let's hear it. You can concentrate by holding down the R1 button. I just figured it out. Okay. Steady your aim, make it easier to target your waste spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge, and if the gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But, but it will recover over time, so use your brain to take a rest. Okay. Oh, music is different this time. Alright then. Hina's account. Alright. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. Yep. But where does that get us? Nothing wrong Maybe here. Kodo must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret. Nope. Nobody was in the dining hall. Someone was in the no. high dining hall. Maybe I should have listened to all the arguments first before I jump to conclusions. Alright. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say oh, it boy. all you, you want. Toko's really going well, into the attack. What if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Come on, Hina. Remember you remember. What you were telling me earlier? Yeah, you clearly saw. You said, and I quote, "I went to get I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went to get and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. Were, was gone. Okay. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yep. Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Well? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? You don't think so? Stop stealing my lines, Biakia. No, he definitely wasn't there. Thank you. The knife disappeared while Kino was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. True that. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? Okay, what is it, Toko? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are idiot. in on it together? Idiot. And lying to protect each other. Idiot swimmer girl? Really? Idiot swimmer girl? Even Hina didn't, didn't take that. Oh, and more importantly... Why would I get involved in something like that? Yeah, I don't think Hina had anything to do with this. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? That is actually a good question. Well, Manakuma? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Oh, so in other words, the accomplice doesn't get any rewards. They they might end up getting killed with, along with the class. Oh boy. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Exactly. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Well, and knowing that, I don't think anyone would want to work but together with someone else. what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rules? That is a good question, Chihiro. Uh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Thanks, Monokuma, for telling us something that to make us l l not worry about having accomplices. Oops! Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, you just did. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Good. Well said, Makoto. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? 
That is a good question. Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. Oh boy, now Celeste is targeting Hina. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Sakura? That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Why didn't you say so earlier, H Hina? Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. Really, Leon? You didn't remember? <laughs> but then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because... No? Um... Well... What is it, Hina? Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. So you slept with Sayaka? Which means, we have airtight alibis. Well, at least we know that they're out of the pit, you that they're not the over? culprit. Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? No, it doesn't. We're not I allowed think. to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Exactly. Well said, Chihiro. So, I don't think that's a problem. Well, if well if uh, if Makoto and Sayaka can switch rooms, I, there is no problem, I guess. It is a problem. What? A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's uh, it's unwholesome. Uh, Taka, Sakura is not a girl. Not, Sakura is not a boy. But I'm a girl. Uh oh. You are? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. How did Taka not notice? Oh my god, okay, that, that that was hilarious. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? That is, that is Actually, true. Actually, there is one other possibility, right, Hina? There is? Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Yeah, you should have well, told us, Hina. They're not here anymore. They're not here anymore? Wait. Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Sayaka? So... Sayaka was the one who took the knife? Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. That could make and sense. thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Well, she was terrified. When she came into the dining hall. She didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... She went to, she went to grab the knife. The person who took the knife was the victim herself. But why would she do I'm that? Sure, I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. Which could make so sense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? Well, that is the only possibility. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Oh boy. What? Now it's back on the attack See, on Makoto. You did do it after all. No, you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument oh boy. and send us all off in the wrong direction? That's not, that's not it, Hifumi. Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Oh boy. Exactly. We need to. We need. We need to find a. Find out who really did it. Because it, Hold on. exactly. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Thank you, Kyoko, for reminding us. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. Bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering. What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. Something was you know missing in the I'm crime scene? About, don't you? Hangman's Gambit. What's that? As things have advanced further in the class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the left stick to aim and then press triangle to shoot the desired letters. Got it. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well, okay. 
you ready for trial three? E easy there. We we just got to, to trial two. We we ha we haven't even reached trial two yet. We're still in the middle of trial one. All right then. Hangman's Gambit. Okay, so I have to aim at the letter in order. Oh, I think I know. H hair. Oh. Oh, I need to press more, more, more times, okay? Uh, I need to find R, R. Uh, get out of the way, A! There we go. Now I understand. It was hair. That's right! There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? That is, yeah. Yes, and if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? That is a very good point. Why would he want to get rid of the hair? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. Exactly. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. Uh, but Celeste, if that was the case, what... If, the, if that is the... If that is the case, they should have moved the body, not just her that hair. That makes sense, does it not? No, it doesn't. No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Thank you, Kyoko, for spelling out for me. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay. okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Makes sense. <laughs> Then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Alright then. Makoto isn't the culprit? That's what we've been are telling you. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. True. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Also, I like that smirk on Kyoko's face. It's nice. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked hmm. in the main room first, yes. then fled into the bathroom, right? Yep. Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. Huh. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any Oh yeah, the doorknob. What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. Yeah, they had trouble get, trying to open the lock, the door. Behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yeah, I remember. Let's see. Now let's see, the doorknob, the doorknob, doorknob, there it is. I got it! Here we go. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Yep. Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. It is. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Yep, that's, that's what it looked oh, like. Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. Yep. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves yep. Makoto is beyond suspicion. Thank, thank you, Kyoko. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? Yep. But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Yeah, yes, there's, there, yes, there's something bewildering. It, it... You still don't see? Okay, then. Th He's, all right, thank Let's you, Kyoko. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. But yeah, I know I know how it would whiz, but let's just keep this going. Bit more to learn? Okay, let's see. From here on out, the number of weak spots will start going up, okay? But no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth put in the wrong one, and not only you will fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is, an, now this is important, because you, if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. Alright then. This is where it starts to get more difficult. Alright then. Let's do this. Alright. Bathroom door frame. So we have to be careful this time on, on using the right e evidence. The incident took place let's, in the let's hear room. every statement first. Saika was first attacked in the main room. Mm, that's nothing she wrong with that. She then into the bathroom. Yep. Then the killer ran after her. Mm-hmm. 
when they got into the bathroom. Yep. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Yes. Because Sayaka had locked it. That one is not true, but and let's hear first everything the else. The had Sayaka cornered. But to finish the job, they stabbed her with the kitchen. Yep. It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Oh, come on, Toko. Uh, admit it. We already know the answer. Yeah. But yeah, now that I heard every statement, I know what, what, which statement I have to press now. The incident took place in the Sayaka was first two then fled into the Then the killer ran and they got into the back. At that point, the killer had to drop because Sayaka had locked it. There we go. No, it's wrong. Sayaka didn't lock the door. It the was reason stuck. my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yep. Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. To, to think that Monokuma has to testify yep. this. True as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? More but like you have unlucky such student. A cruddy door. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. Tell me about so it. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. I guess that makes sense. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Huh. Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. One important detail... Hmm... What was it? Yeah, the... Yeah, the trend took place in, in his... in our room. I got it! Yeah? The killer must not have realized that it was my room. Oh, yeah. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's... inconceivable! And yet, he's absolutely right. Oh, right, the nameplates. I remember. Say what? Exactly, the labels. Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Yep. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door. Exactly. And would have had to break through. Exactly, Kiyotaka. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. The yep. killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. That is true. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do. Exactly, Makoto. Since Mikoto. I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is correct. That is a definite possibility. Oh, I, oh I'm, not that, I'm not really that famous, uh... Uh, what was your name again? I, for I forgot. I know it's I, I know it's in your name is Chris, but all right. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms. Yep. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Okay. Then who did do it? Okay, Mondo. First up, calm down. Second, cool off. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. Uh, Hifumi, don't give but up that easy. What happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? I really don't want to think like that, Chihiro. Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! D no, Taka, don't think Majority like that! Majority rules? You really think <laughs> that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Agree. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh! As a matter of fact, I do oh. have one question. You do have, Hina? Oh, you... Oh, come on, Celeste. You Give her a chance. so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so, um... Yes? Well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? That is a very good question. How did he, yes. Makoto... How did how the culprit did the get in? How did the culprit get inside? 
Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Agreed. Way too convenient. Then maybe someone picked the lock? Uh, Chihiro. Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Thank you, Taka. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. The easy way? They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Ms. Maizono just let him in. No. No. That can't be it either. That wouldn't be possible. Saika was terrified. Oh! Trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Calm down, Hifumi. Oh, switching rooms. I got it. There we go. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. That is true. Because according to according to what we said, Sayaka is promised not to open to anyone, even if it's uh, Makoto. Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. That's right. What if her being scared was a lie? A lie, uh -huh. Kyoko? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? That is a very good question. I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Huh? There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search. What? And I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. Okay. And these are the words that appear. Oh, wow. man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. That is a very interesting mechanic. When I saw mechanic. that, I was like, holy crap! I'd better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from <laughs> now on. I love Hina Hina's optimism. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Wow, Kyoko, I wouldn't be surprised if you actually your true talent is ultimate detective. Oh, and I should also <laughs> mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? So it was in M Makoto's room? Which means, room? only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. Well, it was definitely so, not Makoto. Did you write this? No, I didn't. But of course you didn't, because the note also well, it's, bears it's, it a perfectly Sayaka. legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Yep, Sayaka's the one who wrote but, it. But why? Why would she write that? Good question. The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. The she culprit. must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? <laughs> of course you think like that, Hifumi. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. <laughs> of course it wouldn't. That, because you're a pervert for 2D but stuff. Can you be sure anyone even got this note? What do you mean, Celeste? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. What makes you huh? think that, Celeste? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Very well then, pay attention. Looks like, she, looks like she has something to say. All right, another make your argument. All right, let's do this. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. Yes. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So we know their Wait. words. Even if someone did read the note, Some, and something about the statement was was not right. not have any connection to what happened. Mm, it certainly would seem that way. Hang on, I need I need to check because I think that that one was wrong. All right. Sayaka and Makoto's but in the note. It specifically says 
Then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Right. Exactly. The room. There we go. We got the right one. Here we go. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms got switched. Yep. They got switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. Mm -hmm. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And, and vice the versa. On Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. And vice versa with Makoto. And if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Exactly. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. Thank you, and Kyoko. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? No. Right? Okay, then who did it? Yeah, it could only be Sayaka. I got it! Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates is Sayaka. Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. It says there. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the she wrong room. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. Mm -hmm. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. Yep. Why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was mm. Makoto's room. But why would what? she do that? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? Very good question, To understand Nina. that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. Good question. That's where the answer lies. What happened then right. was... Probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her! We figured it out! We know who did it! Whoever she invited uh, over is the culprit! Yeah, Captain Obvious, but... we but... still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Thank you, Mondo! Sayaka fought with her oh, children boy. in the room, yes? Yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Could you stop saying that she's a dirty pop idol, Adamant? Yes, I think you're right. Saying it once is... is... Saying, saying it once was good enough, but saying it in multiple times is already... That isn't helping, you know. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? Well said, Hina. That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? I can agree to that, Sa Sakura. Oh, yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. <laughs> it seems it pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Yep. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Uh, the gold coating that was on her wrist? I got it! Here we go. All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Yep. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Yep. Is, is that gold? Yep, gold coating. It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And we learned that the hard way the first time. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! Well said, Kyotaka. Finally you said something see, useful. I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Yep. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Well said, hero. Hmm. Okay, there's more. All right. Yeah, I'm getting used to them. I'll start only multiple truth bullets into the truth cylinder. Okay, so we have more than one bullet now. Only one of the bullets can actually refute the proper statement. From here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. Okay. Press the L1 to rotate the cylinder. Got it. Okay. Alright then. If the logic certificate is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded. Okay, got it. For, pur for our purposes this time, the logic difficulty will be set to me. Alright. 
Okay then. Replica sword chief, kitchen knife set, and replica sword. All right. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the say. sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword-based sneak attack. I don't know. And that's what broke Miss Mizono's wrist. I think something was off about there. Oh, she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. But then the culprit took that from her too. Hmm. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. I don't know. I think something in, in what Yakushihiro said was different. Hold on. Let me check the... When the fuck... Let me take a look a look at the but yeah according to according to this there, there there are scratches on the sheet so it wasn't exactly a sneak attack I didn't broke out then I have the to present the sheet the there we go and that's when the first blow was dealt a sword based sneak attack there we go no it's wrong thank you killer Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Yep. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. Yep. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? Yep. That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Exactly. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. Basically, Mondo, with... Someone used the sword as a as a base of defense. If the sword was used first. There wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. Well said, Makoto. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? Yep. That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Uh huh. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? It was probably if cut from the, the kitchen for the kitchen knife. Maybe yeah. they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. Yep. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Yep. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. That's basically what, what the situation. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. All right, let's see if you have the. It, let's see if you do it right, right this time, Taka. The culprit came in. Found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took um, that from her too. I don't know. I don't then, think that's what after happened. They broke her wrist with the sword. They took the knife and finished it. No, I don't Sorry, think that. But I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Yeah, because. What? How the hell do you not think that? The gold coating. She never remember? Held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Yep. Her palms. I got it. Yep. You're talking about She never her grabbed palms, the sword. Right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. Yep. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like we said before, Hina, the gold coating comes off like very I said easily. Before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. Yep. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. But wait. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. But wait, I just realized something. If the fight started with the knife, but Sayaka never hold the sword, then... Wait. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. I I think I know what's going on, but uh, Sorry, no, but that I can't be right, so. uh, Toko. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Toko, you need to fix your inferiority complex. No, that's not it at all. Because at, because after 10 p.m. at nighttime, at nighttime the water cuts off. I got. It. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 yep. a.m. And at night, and at nighttime, after 10 p.m., the other water words, shuts off. At nighttime, and the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Actually, I haven't taken a shower yet. Seriously, Toko? Oh my. Well, Seppi fooled me for once. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. You really have to compare him to a donkey mm -hmm. now? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. An insult, obviously. <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> wow. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the yes. sword. Yes. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheep with the kitchen knife was... It was Sayaka. I got it. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? It would mean that she was the one who attacked first. But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Oh my god. And the one who attacked first was... Yes. Sayaka? Now do you Sayaka understand? Sayaka intended to kill she someone. She wasn't a blameless victim in this. Oh my god. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. I guess that DVD really affected her so much. She wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. To reach her, her, took the knife her bandmates. The kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attack without provocation... Indeed. These yes. are all the actions of an assailant. Sayaka wanted to frame Makoto for the murder. That all makes sense. Oh my god. I need to... Pause for a second. Oh my god. Sayaka was playing Makoto. I don't, I don't want to believe it. Oh, wow. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe that is the true. reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? That's basically what happens, Makoto. She betrayed us. She betrayed you. That would also explain why she oh would God. switch the name place. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured yes. out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. That is true. So all that's why she switched the names? But yep. doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. Although that would be I true. Don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. Yeah, that is true. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Yep. Because Makoto promised her to get him out, and she took advantage of that. Oh, oh my Plus, gosh. She was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then... You're saying she had this all planned out? Yep. Holy shit! You said it, not me. But in the end, her plan backfired. Big time. She launched her attack with the knife. Then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. I don't know what to feel anymore, guys. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... Because... Makoto. Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Right. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Wait, there's a time limit now? Oh, well, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Yeah. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. Well said, Kyoko. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. We have to uncover everything.
Don't give up just yet. We'll find a clue somewhere. Alright. The dying message, that's the only thing that could happen. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Well, let's hear every argument first. Very well. Then let's review all the clues we found up to this point one more time. Do we really have time for all that? D die! Die! Calm down, Toko. We don't do something! We're all gonna die! There... Yeah, there is one clue left. The dying message. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? There we go. No, it's wrong. There is a clue left. The number's in her left index finger, yes. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? <laughs> why, would you, why would you think he said dining? The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? Yep. One, one, zero, zero three, three, seven. seven. Written in her own blood. Yep. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask. Yes? Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yep. Her index figure proves it. Proves it. I got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. Yep. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. All she right. broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Exactly. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, one, three, seven. One, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should yep. know all about numbers and shit. Uh, we already asked asked him. No, asked that's her. not. Sorry. Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course, it's because they're not numbers. They're not numbers. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Huh? What? What? You no, know, it's just. Uh, look at the numbers. Assuming okay. they're not numbers. Don't these first two the culprit's one, name? one look less like two numbers and oh, there more is a... like one letter? Oh yeah, there is something connecting the one one. Oh, looks right. like an N. The connecting line Wait. is barely there. So Hold I on. assumed it was one one. But... Wait a minute. If it's upset Oh crap, now I realize it. it. Now you could also read it as an N. I realize it now. Whoa. You might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> it is him. It's Leon. But let's not jump to conclusions just that yet. Really is an N. N037. Doesn't make any more sense than before. Oh come on, Makoto. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Thank you, Kyoko. Yes, rotate it. Oh my God. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Yep. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right on to who did it. So, whose name did she write? Well, it's time to point out the real killer. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Let's see, where is he? There you are. Here's my answer. It's you, Leon. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, yep. it becomes the letters L-E-O-N. L-E-O-N. Or more accurately, Leon. Leon. What? what the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. Really? A coincidence? It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. You're getting a little rattled for Leon. No, it's not random at all. She wrote uh, that Chris, message on the Chris, wall avoid using too many, up it. Uh, too many emojis. Because I, because rem I remember that that Markiplier's viewer, because Mar Markiplier's viewers got got blocked because they used too many emojis in the chat. So I, I implore you to not to use too many emojis. One is enough. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down, as it were. Yep. And as a result, 
when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters and the letters will be inverted. Will be inverted. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. Really? I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. You, you're you really denying this, Leon? If then why would she write your killer, name? Then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Exactly. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? The bu the burnt piece of sh the burnt piece of shirt. Let's see, where is it? There it is. The burnt I shirt piece. It. There we go. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? Yep. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. Yep. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they, they threw, threw it into, into the, incinerator. the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. Yep, that's what it shows. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Leon? Why do you have to say to that? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button. -up. True. That, that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You may be right. That, that alone, alone isn't, isn't enough. enough. But there are some other points yep. that may reveal the truth. Uh -huh. Are you finally starting to understand? Yeah, I'm starting to understand the here now. To all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The the other thing we need to pay attention to. It was how it was disposed of. I got it. Yep. If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Oh, okay. Let's hear it, Leon. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You'd need the key to get in. And the one with the key was yes. the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> oh, Interesting. Uh, Hifumi, you're realizing he's accusing you, right? <laughs> it's like he responded to what I just said. <laughs> I, 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 I may have joked about it, but from what Kyoko was investigating and everything, she could have easily be, uh, what's it called? The ultimate detective. That's, at least that's what I'm assuming. But don't spoil me on that. I want to figure it out by myself. Because Kyoko is surprisingly sm smart. The Shattered Crystal Ball, that's the one. The key to the trash room... Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So yeah. the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? Yeah. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the I think the this evidence. is the one, but let's hear the rest first. Which means the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, so the person who would have had It's the better to listen to all the statements first. Huh? Me? No! <laughs> Rel relax, Tifumi. You're not gonna be the culprit here. The key to the trash room. Oh, wrong. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it. Right? Skipping. So the only one the person who and you'd have to get close to the incinerator. There we go. No, that's wrong. Got him right there. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without yep. using the trash room key. The, the crystal ball. But if you ball. can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yep. Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. <laughs> Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... That one that you got duped for paying a million dollars for it? How would you <laughs> use it? Yeah, you have to th throw it. I got it! The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. Yep. All they had to do was hit that switch, and, and the, the incinerator, incinerator would turn on. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Yep. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? 
Yeah, the fact that the incinerator was the incinerator was actually on. He was certain that he'd turn it off. Kifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge is if someone threw the crystal the ball was able to hit the switch without, without opening, opening the, the gate. gate. Once they gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Yep. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? You're still denying this, Leon? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. Yep. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator, incinerator left, left running, running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Exactly. Oh, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... 30 feet, right? Yep. The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? Yes. That, that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Well, difficult. It absolutely. is difficult, but not impossible? impossible. I don't think so. Because the killer is... Yes, I know the Guilty Gear series. The ki <laughs> for, for the ultimate baseball star. I got it. Exactly. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't, Isn't that, that right, right, Leon? Leon, do you do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A nope. target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. What do you have to say to that, Leon? You you, you can't be serious. I, You're getting desperate, I, huh? I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! Leon, we're you telling- still won't admit it? Yeah, he's not gonna okay, admit it, not anytime Lakota, soon. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. My favorite character, or my favorite fighter? Dizzy. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Well, there's Dizzy, there's Soul, and there's, uh, what was the other character I liked a lot? Ah, uh, what's her name? Jacko. Say what you want, right. Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Exactly. Now here's what happened. Time to review the case. Closing arguments. What I need to do. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. The closing argument. In this phase, you'll get the complete summary of the case. You have to reproduce the flow of the events in case from the bottom up in the form of a comic book. You'll notice that in the comic there are a number of pieces missing. Okay, so I have to complete like the comic, co uh, comic book, right? Okay. Really? A hint? All right. All right. Let's order this. You drew you 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 drew dizzy, huh? Uh, later. All right. Let's see if I can find the. Let's see which is this one. Uh, this is the one. Alright. Okay, next panel. Uh, let's see. Must have been this one. Then he blocked the... Yep, this is the one. Next stop is when she was she got hit by this the sword. Let's see where is it. Let me make sure that all the pictures are there. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, next room. This is when he tried to break through the door. All right, where is it? There it is. Okay, next up, this is when she got stabbed, but during that time she she was writing the dying message. There it is. Next up, this is where she dies. This is when he was taking out the shirt to remove the blood as well as the lint roller. There you go. Then there's the cleaning duty, crystal ball. Next is when he balled up the shirt and threw it into the incinerator. And 
then this is where the shirt the shirt piece fell off. There we go. Here's exactly what Time to reenact. Let's do this. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Let's do this. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, yep. my room. Where the, where the things got switched. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. Yep. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Yep. But he avoided it. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and, and fought, fought back. back. During Ow. the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. It was a good thing. It was a good thing the sword was it wasn't exactly a real sword. It was actually a f fake. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Mm-hmm. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. And no way out. But he couldn't open it the because the door frame was stuck. Her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And there was a trick to opening it. Yep. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course the killer had no way of knowing. Yep, the killer couldn't have known. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife. Yep. And stabbed her. And stabbed Sayaka. But while she was dying, she wrote down the, his with name. What strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. Yep. And with that, and with that, all her strength was gone. Yep. She died. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. Yep. He started by taking First, off the they shirt. Took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. And then used the lint roller to get rid then of all they the hair. Then the lint roller in my room and yep. cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Mm-hmm. True that. Then he went to the incinerator. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But he couldn't get in because he wasn't on but cleaning the trash room was blocked off yep. by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. Uh-huh. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball. Which he Which left, he left in it in the laundry, laundry room. room. Yep. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator, so, and switch. Hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. Because he was and the ultimate baseball the star. Was the ultimate baseball star. Either by batting the ball or by throwing the or by being the pitcher. Yep. The crystal ball Bone with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, yep. which then quickly roared to life. That's when it opened. And then he threw the shirt balled up. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of, a relief. Sigh of relief. But there was one thing yep. they missed. The shirt piece got... Part of the shirt off. they'd thrown into the fire, burnt away, and fell out of the incinerator. That was unlucky for him. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Yep. So, Leon, do you have a rebuttal for that? Isn't that right, Leon? In fact, the, the real thing is, why did you kill her? You didn't have that to. Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. Yep. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Mm -hmm. Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. Yep. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Well, Leon, do you? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! Uh, he doesn't give I mean, up, all huh? All of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? 
Without Ugh, evidence, it's so all persistent. bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. The evidence Makoto, to prove we did it. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have it. Bullet time battle. Okay, I need to know what this is before I start anything. Sometimes during a class tower, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We would like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB, BTW. What? <laughs> during the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with a rhythm. Okay. Match your button presses with each tempo mar marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Okay. Press the X button to lock on the opponent's statement. Yeah. And destroy the statement you've locked on with the triangle button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Got it? Use this method to teach damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Alright, got it. Do this conclusively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get a tempo down situation, alright? When the tempo changes, so that there's the timing of hitting each button. Okay, so basically, I need to time my strikes. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot will appear. At this point, you can press the triangle to shoot them with a truth bullet like any other statement. Got it. Refute the statement fast enough and you'll come out victorious. Just like before, you infiscate through steer, you run out of time and you fail. Alright then, let's do this! When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, yep. They must have used something that belonged to them. The toolkit. Now I... Leon must have used his own I toolkit. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, boy. Exactly. We have to find a way to break through his... Stupid, 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 stupid arguments. All right. Moment of truth. Okay. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut okay. up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Okay, okay. Stupid. I need to concentrate here. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Okay. It wasn't me. All right, I got it. Where's your proof? This there we go. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah, we got him now. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. Yep. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. A screwdriver, I mean, right? It had to be a screwdriver, right? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. Yep. That must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. Exactly. The in my room had clearly never been used. Yep. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. That is true. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then whose toolkit did the killer use? It had to be their own, stupid, right? Stupid, stupid, It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Uh, Leon is still arguing. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Well... Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? Did you realize? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, when where, where, and why. why. Well said, Yakuya. Let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Oh, <laughs> Kyoko. I'm starting to like her more, too. Stupid. Stupid. Yep. He... He broke. So, you have no rebuttal? He's totally quiet. Then it would seem we are finished here. Yep, yeah, he's totally blanked out. Look at him. We got him now. I 
got an A in everything. Wow, on my first try. How many? I got 79 Monokuma medals. That's a lot. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Yep. Then are we ready to cast our You must have quit. I got a trophy for that. All right. You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. All right. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? All right. Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Let's do it. And the killer is... Leon Kuwata. Looks like we were alright. It was Leon who killed who killed Sayaka. <laughs> oh, now we don't have voice clips here. Oh boy, time to work on my voice then. Uh-oh, looks like you've got it right on the money. The Blacken in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, Yahoo! was none other than Leon Kuwata. Yep, he's desperate. Huh? Hey, hold on. Hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. What do you mean you didn't have a choice? It was kill or be killed. So, that's why... I killed her first. None of you are any different. One wrong step and you'll be the one standing here. It was a complete it was complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Really? Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Yeah. When I think about that. What do you mean you'd be better off if you if you've been wrong? But yeah. Sayaka try to frame not Makoto, that is true. That is true, it's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. I can't afford to be stuck in here! The one thing that was more important to her than anything else. Her dreams, her friends. To have seen something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I... Yeah. She did whatever it... She had to do whatever it takes. Yeah. That's why she felt urged to do that. Wow. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> and Sayaka trusted Makoto, but she was lying to him. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we'll never know. <laughs> Boy, howdy, the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try to kill someone just because of those relationships. Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she's descended into pure madness. What did you say? Phew. I understand. Really, I do. Yup, yup. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us! This is all your fault! Saya can be forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. That is kind of true. That's enough. That's... Yeah, stop it, Makoto. Calm down. If you really want to make it her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let, let it go for now. 
Damn it! Ba-bum, ba-bum. Whoa, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. <laughs> Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Oh my god. Sometimes I hate you, Monokuma, but other times I like you, and I don't know why. Now then, since you mag so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the blackened Leon Kuwata will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Yep, that's what he Wait means. Wait a second! I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Is that okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and, I, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. Celeste is right. You have plenty of chances to to stop what you were doing, and yet you you still went after her. But you choose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So... No, no that's, that's not... Stop it. I've heard... I've had enough of this. Oh! Are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Saika. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Saika either. Because... Because the one to blame is him! Huh? Swa? If it weren't for you... This would have never happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We shouldn't be fighting against the one who put put us in this situation. The mastermind. Unbelievable. Uh-oh. Did you awaken your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there is nothing more unethical than an, an answering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Wow, sometimes Monokuma's words just tell the truth. Oh boy. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? J just shut up! Mm. Oh well, anyway, more importantly... Girls, let's girls, hurry up and get girls. to what everyone's been waiting for! The punishment! I'm begging you! Please, don't do this! Oh my god. Hey! Come on now! No more begging, no more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it! Stop! Please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star! No, 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 no! I'm gonna feel bad for the guy. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! No! Oh, God. Who did I think first did it? I had no idea. Uh-oh. We're about to see an execution right now. Cinematic. Everything. Whoa, what the hell? Where the hell is he being dragged on? Uh oh. Uh, what? What the heck is that? Wait. A Gatling gun of baseballs? The 1000 blow. Uh oh. He's getting killed by baseballs! Oh my god. Fitting execution for a baseball star, I guess. Oh god. The fear in his eyes is the moment the, those balls hit his face. God. 
Jesus Christ. I mean, I knew the bo I knew the baseballs are heavy, but are, are hard and, and and everything. But Jesus. Wow. What we saw, that was the true face of despair. Look at everyone's faces. Well, except for a few, but still. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Man, my adrenaline is popping right out of control! I don't need anything to say anything. What's going on? I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you have to do is to swear is to swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Monokuma. D damn you! Man, fuck you. Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. That's because you are. Say what? Or in this case, case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear? Well... Oh, God. So why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me for such grueling or ordeal? Hey, um... It seems you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. It... Yeah, I just think, don't think it's possible. Um, hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying it and what I'm saying quite fit together. Dude, shit. Piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to, to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened, happened, happened because more than one of you decided to, you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut free of this outside world. Being trapped in, in this insane place. You're trapped, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kills! Yeah. Hey. This is what happens. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. My least favorite Guilty Gear fighter? I have no idea. And just like that, he was gone. Oh, God. No one actually moved. Uh, you okay, Taka? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's just... No one even tried to. No. Just a second. Oh, apparently Kyoko said something. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started it. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even until the, the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why, as she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure. And we can't ask her now. However... 
Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't, don't you think? Really? How? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What makes you say that, uh, Kyoko? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who killed her. Certainly. That's certain, certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was... uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone, or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Well, when Kyoko po puts it like that, maybe Sayaka re didn't, re didn't really mean for that. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would have never been able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. This is really dark. No. I'm going to carry them with the rest of with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. It, yeah, for, you're, we clearly forgot about Junko for a second. <laughs> So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. Huh. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. What? What? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a pretty good intuition. Wow. Way to express Sayaka through those words, huh? Well, 15 students dead. 15 students were here, but 3 died. Only 12 left. The despair bat? Okay. Time to save the data then. Well. Uh, I think that's about it for today. I'm glad that I actually enjoyed this tr this trial. It was very interesting, despite having to suffer, well, traumatic experiences like that. But either way, it was it was a very fun experience so far. I I, I can't wait to see what what happens next uh, in in the in the future. Even though I'm afraid to see what happens next and what's next. I mean, who could kill who at this point, right? But for today, I'm, t I'm ending the chapter right. I'm ending this episode right here, and we'll continue tomorrow, if if possible, of course. As for the trial, it was a very interesting experience. I think that was one of the f the fun things in this in the game, despite other other things. But better than that, all right. Uh, other than that, that's all I can say. So thank you so much for watching. This is the Keyblade Solord, signing off.